What's up, YouTube? Alan. Gonna do a uh, sub contest video for you today. This is for Comics with Bueller. He's having a 300 subs contest. And he wanted to know your favorite Todd McFarlane comic and your favorite 80s movie. And I thought that was a pretty cool contest. Um, if you haven't, check his channel out. Sub him up. Um, I, from what I've heard, you know, he hasn't even been around hardly, you know, a little over a month or two. And he's already up to like, you know, what, almost 400 subscribers. So he's really kicking ass. He's making good videos. You know, it's different. Uh, he's got like a buddy that does sign language, you know, if you know anybody that's hearing impaired. Um, I'm sure they would find that awesome. And, uh, He's got a friend that hates comics, so it's kind of cool, you know, just check out some different, you know, a little variety of uh, videos, which, you know, that's why everyone loves YouTube. We all have different uh, personalities. We'll get to show them off. But um, he's got a uh, couple different ways you can enter this contest. You can uh, leave comments on the contest video and Instagram comments and entries and make a video, so... I'm gonna um, show my Todd McFarlane cover, which is sadly not the original. You can just uh, overlook this this here. <laughs> but yeah, everyone knows that iconic cover, Amazing Spider-Man <clears throat> number 300. You know he's got so many damn uh, iconic covers, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 301, uh, 313, Spawn number one. <clears throat> I always liked uh, 328 with Spider-Man's picking up that gray Hulk over his head, you know. Um, Spider-Man number one with the silver and gold and platinum covers. And uh, I remember, you know, how many of y'all remember being kids and, and, and sitting there trying to count how many damn spiders are on that cover, you know what I mean? Like, those are just iconic covers. And uh, I love Hulk 340 with Wolverine looking pissed off and you can see Hulk's reflection and, and the adamantium claws it's so badass but um, this one here is just a, a comic with uh, Amazing Spider-Man 300 that I've, I've always wanted even as a kid and I've just never owned it I've never had it in my collection um, like I've had opportunities to buy it and I always passed on you know and uh, now I, I really kick myself but uh I'm gonna get it one I'm gonna get one get her one day, you know what I mean? But uh this was this was a buck, so you know what I mean? Like <laughs> it'll do for now. At least I got to read it. It was cool, you know what I mean? Uh, it's so different to see you know, to read these old ones and see how uh, how badass Spider Man used to be compared to uh what slots done to him lately. Although you know, the the very latest issues have been quite an improvement over you know what he's normally been putting out but uh anyway there's my McFarlane comic and for the 80s movie I, I, I pretty much knew what I was going to put right away uh, like could have went with uh Full Metal Jacket would have been a good one that would have been a good one Airplane classic Monster Squad I'm an 80s kid. I was born in 81, so I grew up, you know, watching all of this. But, um, Beetlejuice, classic. It's Freddy Krueger. I think one through, um, five were actually all made in the 80s. <clears throat> Scarface. Creep Show. I love Creep Show. I think I like Creep Show too. Uh, a little more just because of the raft. Man, as a kid, the raft was my shit. But uh, I love you know the first one as well. Uh, everyone loves Goonies. But I had to go with what I think is the perfect blend of horror and comedy. Return of the Living Dead. This movie, like I have so much history of this movie. I I remember. I don't have a, a hell of a lot of remember or memories of my mom and dad being together because they divorced when I was. Uh, like five and um, but I do remember us living in their first place and um, 
my dad playing this movie or I, it may have just used to come on HBO a lot but I know he had it on VHS because I used to put it on and watch it and it, it scared the ever living shit out of me that movie scared the hell out of me like cause I think at the very end they say something about it you know um uh, I don't know, it, like for some reason, I, and the way I'm sure he told me too, like I thought it was real, and it scared the shit out of me, as a you know I'm like four or five year old kid, and watching that, and thinking that shit you know could be real, and it, like any time we were near a cemetery, man, I'd be staring at that shit, but like I, I wasn't scared of the dark, like I would be in bed like scared that like zombies were coming down the road because of that damn movie right there. And my dad messing with me. Uh, he used to love sitting around laughing like hell, scaring the shit out of me at that movie. Like he'd be like, "You want to watch it?" And I'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, I want to watch it." And and I would be like, hiding behind his chair watching it. And uh, I'd get to the point where it scared the shit out of me. But there's a point at the kind of when the the shit's starting to first go down, and uh, this like bald zombie or um, or cadaver, I think, came you know reanimated and it just comes charging and running at this dude and that part i remember screaming like hell like cut it off cut it off and he just laughing like hell and my mom get pissed off it's like just cut it off <laughs> you're scaring the shit out of him but uh, i love this movie like even though it scared the shit out of me as a kid like i love it now like i even love i mean i loved it then you know but it it did scare the shit out of me but um, yeah, I used to laugh at it though too. They had its moments, you know, with that little midget zombie. Um, it was like eating the paramedic, and then he goes chasing after somebody, and he slips in the mud. Like it's just funny as shit. And uh, it's just got like a perfect cast: Clue Gallagher as Bert, uh, James Karen as Frank is like, my favorite. Like he's just like the old man. He's kind of like the main guy, like him and uh, Tom Matthews as Freddy. They are like uh, working for a cemetery or something. But anyway, they he takes him. The, the, Tom, uh, Freddy's the new guy, and he's just young kid. And like you know, Frank's trying to show off, and he takes him down in the cellar with like they have these barrels with the the zombies in it, with the uh, the gas or whatever that that turns you know the zombies uh, back to life or whatever, makes them want to eat brains and shit. Um, and uh, he said, all oh, these barrels are sturdy as hell, you know, or something, and he, like, slaps it, and it, they get gassed, both of them, so they're sick of shit the whole movie, and he just whines and whines and moans and bitches the whole movie. <laughs> like, he is awesome. He he makes that fucking movie. Like, uh, Don Kalfa was Ernie. He was, like, the, um, the mortician. And he's just like this bug-eyed dude. He looks, looks weird. And, and unfortunately, he passed away last year. But he used to be really cool. Like, he'd talk to you on Facebook. And, uh, yeah, it sucks he passed away. I really liked Don. And, um, Beverly Randolph was Tina. Like, the little, young, pretty, like, you know, just the, the pretty main girl. And, uh, she's so sweet. Like, on Facebook, she wished me a happy birthday, uh, like, year before last and it made my damn whole birthday you know because she's so cool she's and she's she's like a milf now you know she's still hot as hell and but she's just a sweet lady she's nice as hell to the fans um jewel shepherd was casey miguel nunez juana man himself was spider you know it was like punk kids and Leanna Quigley was trash, and I think that was probably my first nude scene as a little kid, you know, or, you know, the first time as a boy, you get to see, like, that naked girl, and, um, I think that was it, when she jumped up on that, uh, that grave and just started saying, taking her clothes off, they was all oh, trash taking her clothes off again, <clears throat> but it's either that, or, like, I know on that tape, my dad had Brian De Palma's 1984, body double and that movie was also like that movie and return of living dead were like the movies that like messed with me as a kid like you know that's no <laughs> those movies should not be being watched at all let alone regularly by a five-year-old little kid you know but i loved them and my kid my parents were young as hell you know so they worked all the time just trying to make ends meet so my dad would work like third shift and then come in 
and have to watch me for the day and my mom goes off to work and he would try to but you know he would just have to lay there on the couch and just take naps and I would just put that tape in and just sit there and watch these crazy movies but uh it's like Melanie Griffith um I think it was nude and that and I just remember like he was dressed as like a vampire and he's like holding this lady's tits in the shower and they were like awesome rocking tits <laughs> I don't know but anyway this is my favorite 80s movie just because you know it goes back with me a long way to when I was a kid and I just thought it was, it's just the craziest funniest and it's like with the perfect like <clears throat> I don't even like horror really anymore because these movies were perfect because you know you saw them on like VCRs so like they look they were just made perfect they look good because the shitty quality helped with the story and everything now like you watch this blu-ray and it's all like hd out the ass like the movie looks it, it makes it look corny kind of because it, it does look so much more fake you know what i mean but it's like back in the day uh just vcrs you know vhs 80s horror is the best to me like it doesn't get any better than that 70s and 80s um that it's the golden age of horror it'll never be that good again but uh that's all for me, guys. Uh, I, I really appreciate doing the contest. Uh, Bueller. Bueller. It's a cool contest, man. He's got tons of prizes, tons of comics. Give his channel uh, a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Like I said, uh, yeah, it's, he's moving up pretty quick. So, uh, you know, let's help him get to a thousand really quick. You can guys sub me up while you're at it, too. That, that won't kill you. You know, it's free. <laughs> hit that subscribe button too but uh good luck to everybody in the contest that's that's all for me i'm alan i appreciate it i'm out later